Welcome to part three of my Belgium series. In part one, I met up with my cousin Sarah for our first European adventure together. We visited a flea market in Brussels and hit up an entire district full of antique stores. And then we took a train across Belgium to the beautiful city of Bruges, where in episode two, we hit the thrift stores and we found some incredible vintage for unbelievable prices. Today, in episode three, you are coming with me to one of the best flea markets in Europe. We are here to meet up with my friend Colleen, who invited us to join her and Kate in Belgium to shop this flea market. We've had the most wonderful time with Kate and Colleen, and you need to check out their Instagram pages. Colleen is an incredible interior designer, and Kate owns an awesome party planning company. Go check out their Instagrams, give them a follow, and support these amazing ladies. Here's a little sneak peek at what's coming up today. I'm making Sarah a die-hard thrifter. <laughs> <laughs> it's super early in the morning. What time is it? Uh, 6.45. 6.45 in the morning. I'm so tired. Sun hasn't come up yet. And we're headed to the market. The streets are so quiet. And we're going to hopefully be there when they're setting things up. We heard they start setting up at 6 o'clock. And that usually you can start buying by 7 o'clock. So it's only a three-minute walk. We didn't even know we were staying three minutes from it. So that was good luck. <laughs> Okay, let's go see what we can find. We just came around the corner and we can already see the market. We are literally outside the market. This is super exciting. Is your heart pounding? <laughs> Why is my heart pounding? Why am I so excited? And probably because the thrift stores and the vintage stores were so good here in Bruges that we're really hopeful. I'm hoping I can find more jewelry though. I will say I haven't found a lot of jewelry here. I found a lot more in London and Norway. So we'll see. Oh, Sarah, you're gonna love that lamp. Oh, yeah. It's like chain linked metal. That's really neat. You can tell who's a diehard picker. They have like a very, sorry, my morning voice. They have a very fast pace and they're just like scanning and running, scanning and running. That's a beautiful painting. It's got the boats, the water, the city. The dilapidated dock. Yes, there's something, <laughs> there's ruins for you, Sarah. You know what? This painting has a little bit of everything for everyone. Skyline, water, all of it. <laughs> I love it. That's why they call it flashlight shopping sometimes because it's still dark out. This is pretty and kind of little. It's a little ink well, 35 euro. It's a really pretty piece of stone. We're moving on to over there. See, he's a professional. Look, got the flashlight. And look at the fast pace. I think I'm gonna follow him. <laughs> then we'll be able to see better too. Look at this glass bottle. That's neat. So my key when I'm looking is like, I would kind of pass up a lot of the places that have things that look newer and you go to the ones with the boxes and they're just pulling them out. And there's so many that haven't even set up yet. I fit it in my luggage. I mean, when there's a will, there's a way. Incredible pottery in this one, like incredible. Look at these.
My first purchase of the day, I actually got two vases. The other one's tucked away down there. I'll show you a little bit later, but I got them. He had said 25 for one and 20 for the other, and I got them both for 20, so 40 total. 600, Ooh, wow. <laughs> Pretty, we have very good taste. I like this art piece too. These little water closet door plaques are only three euro. I'm gonna get one for our guest bathroom. I thought that'd be cute. We have other signs we picked up in Italy already in there, so this will be great. Got some beautiful tramp art frames, some art, and look at this cross. It's really incredible. It's only 35 euro. I'm thinking it needs to come home with me. That's pretty rare. I've never seen one like that. We got quite a few things just now, all for 60 euro. I'll pull it out at the very end, but I did get some tramp art and some original paintings for around 20 euro a piece. There was some good stuff in that space. I was really contemplating a few different things. I love that. Yeah, it's so different. How much is this? Ten. Ten? Yes. Oh my gosh, Sarah, look. I just pulled that out of a box. That's cool. That's gorgeous. It looks like the plate that was too much mm -hmm. at that store. Yeah. Let me see how much it is. Look at these brass ashtrays. They're gorgeous. There's a pair. They're not going to be light, but I might have to do it. Mm -hmm. I love them <laughs> so much. Those are so classy. How much for these three? 20 euro. 20 euro? 30. 30. We're loving the shape on this box. It's beautiful. It doesn't have a price on it, so we're going to ask. How much for this? Uh, you can have it for 10. 10 euro? Yes. Okay, I'll take that. Thank of you. Course. There are so many antique stores that this one just happens to be in the same square as the market and they're just pulling stuff right from inside their antique store, which is very convenient to be <laughs> right there. I've seen a lot of people pulling up with big vehicles unloading. That's a neat clock. Mm -hmm. It's got little three leaf clovers an unlucky clock. <laughs> They're not four leaves. <laughs> that is. Is that metal or yeah, it's ceramic? It's metal. Oh, whoa, that is metal. Oh my God. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. And it opens. It's like a medicine cabinet. Oh, no way! It has a hairbrush. And what's the other one? Is it two hairbrushes? Two brushes. Wow, with the monograms on them. That's amazing. That's really cool. That's really neat. Wow. Oh, I love this one. I think these are from oh, Thailand. Yeah, with the dragon. Mm -hmm. I have one that I need to clean up at home. Yeah. 
it's a serious project. <laughs> it's very rusty, but I, I had to save it. I think I got it at like a side of the road garage sale. Ooh, horsey. Ooh, here's this one's got some potential. Oh, you love that? Now, is this too like chippy? Yeah. It, okay. But the fan, okay. So you like somewhat ruined, but not completely ruined. Subtle ruin. You like subtle ruin. It's beautiful because it's multicolored. Yeah. How there's the blue on the bottom, the way the light hits it. Oh, look at these dogs. They're having beer. <laughs> and wine. Cute. Or maybe just out of a wine glass. Beer out of a wine glass? No, maybe it's wine out of a barrel. That's yeah, cute. That's We're so smart. We're figuring it out. <laughs> we figured out what the painting is. Or the drawing. Eight. I kind of like it. Sarah, I kind of like it for you. I think Trish would love it. You do? Yes. Does she like quirky? She likes dogs. She yeah. likes drunk she dogs? Likes Does she like drunk dogs? She though? likes wine. She like, there you go. <laughs> Done. Eight euro. That's a good souvenir. Three fifty, four hundred, something yeah. in that region. Wow. Kind of beautiful. And that was in the Jerusalem church. That hunga that was hanging there from in the mid 1700s oh i bet that's beautiful with the light yeah, yeah, and that yeah, yeah, amber yeah, yeah, yeah. color there were, there were big candles in it uh, mm -hmm. as they are now yeah. and they converted it to electricity i think but mm -hmm. i don't like that I, uh, want like it with the candles with the that's like the, the oil lamp i bought from you yeah. i'm gonna put oil yeah, in it and actually right. burn it the way you're it's right. supposed to well this is really neat i like things that are missing their heads and arms <laughs> that's and beautiful that's beautiful and it is it's like you, so you you're not supposed to know that's what she looked like Look how it's sculpted. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. Wow. It's beautiful. Oh, my God. It's heavy. It's so much heavier than it looks. It's bronze. Do you know when it's from? My husband knows, but he's walking around. It's amazing. The sun is officially up. We've been going hard for like an hour and a half. It's kind of pretty here. That is so funny. It's like a stone house. You think it was for recipes or mail? Oh yeah, recipes with that shape. Yeah. Oh, how funny. <sighs> This market actually has a lot of mid-century, which I'm kind of surprised by because we didn't see that much of it in a lot of the stores. Oh, that's a nice one too. You love a good telephone table. Do you sit on your cell phone in the telephone table? I love telephone. Those smaller ones for like a bedside table. Oh, that'd be fun. Actually, that's a really good idea because sometimes you want to sit down near your bed to take on and off your shoes. 39 euro. This is beautiful. Holland. I've had a small vase in this pattern before. That's, that's actually an incredible price. But space. I almost bought like a 20 pound naked lady platter. Maybe 25 pounds. It was heavy. Oh, Sarah, look at the little Scotty dog. There's more. We're wanting to go and do a drop off because this is starting to get heavy. Luckily our Airbnb is only three minutes away, but every time we turn to go do a drop off, we see more stuff and then we keep shopping. It's a real problem, people. It's a real problem. It looks like they ended up with the mugs for all of those plates we saw earlier. Must be a popular pattern here. One little imperfection, but that could be touched up pretty easy. It's a cutie.
round two. <laughs> we just did a drop off at the Airbnb, which luckily is just like two minutes away, right around the corner. So now we're going back, round two. Pretty. Isn't it? I love the blue. Is it square? 10 euro. You know, I think it is. It's, yeah, it's a square one. So you could put it on a round table just like Oh, yeah. Will you help me hold it? Yeah. You could put it on a round table just like corner, yeah. you know, like you put it around. Corner to corner. That's beautiful. That's really pretty. Let me put this on wide angle here. There we go. Yeah, that's really pretty. I would definitely use that. So we had to make something awful, beautiful. Yeah, these are 30 for the pair. They really, they really would be. I feel like that's a pretty fair price to 30 for the two, but maybe I'll offer 20 and see. Yeah, let's ask. I can't believe how much tramp art there is. It's shocking. Oh my goodness. The other cross is just because it's so simple and beautiful. Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh, and oh my God, that tramp art has lion door knockers. What? What? It is missing a foot. Oh my goodness, it's so amazing though. Oh, the foot's right there. <gasps> you guys, did I just find my tramp art box? The one that was meant for me. It was made in 19 something. I mean, that's pretty amazing. I can put little things inside it. Yeah, we have to at least ask. We have to ask. This is amazing. I'm so impressed with Belgium and Norway. I got it for 50 euro. He asked 60. And then I said, since the foot was broken, can we do 50? And he said it was fine and that the foot was inside. It's not bad, not bad at all. The case. The case is amazing. This is unbelievable, but also, can you imagine how heavy that is? How hard would that be to transport? It's amazing. Do you know how old this is? Much older than us. Much <laughs> older than us, right? I think about 1900s. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. It's really neat. It's really nice. How much does it weigh? Kilos? No, Really? It's not that heavy? Oh! Oh! Nice. Oh! We didn't expect that. Yeah. It's beautiful because it's, it's like a, a, a cubistic... It, uh, that's exactly yeah. what, I, what I thought of when yeah. it almost looked like a face it's from like the front. Statue, yes. yeah. Like Easter Island. Yes, exactly. <laughs> that is so neat. I'm surprised it was light. It was really light. Let's see your painting. Oh, Sarah, it's beautiful. How much was it? 25. 25, that's beautiful. I love the long shape of it. Goodbye. These are the themes that we're seeing in a lot of the art here in Belgium. Ship paintings, windmills, and our favorite, horses. We still haven't asked anyone yet why there are so many horses, but we're gonna find out before we leave. We did our drop off, came back on our second loop. The cross is gone, but I'm happy for whoever got it. And I also think it means we have good taste because all the rest of them are still there, except <laughs> the one that we liked. <laughs> so we'll take it as a compliment. I like the clock, but I don't like the hands. They're too traditional. How much does the tag say? It keeps moving, is that 18? 18. 18 euro. I think if I put a new battery pack on and new hands, that's oh, cool. pretty great. Maybe it's it'd be like worth like 75. It reminds me of like 60s Dynamic. Yeah, yeah. 50s, 60s Dynamic, retro Dynamic. And it's not heavy and it's pretty flat. And if I'm gonna change the hands, I don't even have to worry about them being bent. I think that might be, maybe I'll see if they can do 15. Hi, this has 18, can you do 15? Yeah, no, sure. Okay, thank you so much.
Okay, this space is amazing. They hadn't even set up at all when we came through the first time, so never forget to go back. Look at all the Potosis. I'm sure they are not cheap, but they are beautiful. That one is 80 euro. How much was that one? 2.95? Wow, that's pretty spendy. This one is amazing too. Let's see. 150. Box is my fave. It's the most expensive. Oh my gosh, look at this Lucite paper clip. <laughs> this is fabulous. 59 euro. Wow, that's great. That's fun. Lots of Batosis everywhere. Oh my gosh, they're as big as a horse. Look at this little guy down here. He's just like, these are scary dogs. <laughs> It's not sterling, but boy, is that cool. <gasps> Look how beautiful they all are together, this too. So pretty. That's oh. massive. I like the chicken, too. Yeah. I have most of the not most of the animals, actually, but I have a few. Yeah. No chickens. I like the mix, too, with the texture. That's really beautiful. And this one's neat with the stacked edge. I even love this, how simple it is. Oh, that's cool. It's very brutalist. And you could put it on a bookshelf, mm -hmm. too. It's got buns. <laughs> Look at those buns. Buns of steel. Buns for days. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> <laughs> Jesse would be so proud of me. That was a good one. Oh, that's a really nice shape. Oh my gosh, is that stone? That is stone. That's beautiful. Wow. Some really neat things like I've never seen before here. Sweet. On, on a wood backing. It's not that heavy, but it's got a couple cracks in it. I'm just gonna admire it for a moment here <laughs> and then put it back and walk away. Do you see what I see? Look at the giant Potosi just hanging out in the middle of all this stuff. Third time back to the market. We just <laughs> dropped off another load. <laughs> I love this pair of little tiny bases. Those are very sweet. There's also a lot of enamel. I've noticed so much of it. Doesn't that look like water, the way it reflects the light? It does. Very mermaid-ish. And there's the Potosi, and we're not gonna ask how much it is. We're gonna pretend it's $4,000 and we can't afford it, and that's why <laughs> we're not bringing it home. That makes me feel better. Plus, I'll always wonder, how much would the Potosi been? Twenty-five. I'll take it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, what about this one? It looks like it would match it. We could do that for the clock. That would look awesome. And do you think it, we can make it work with either of those sizes? I mean, like I always say, when there's a will, there's a way. You know, right? Or maybe here's that another one. one. 
because it's thicker. Yeah, this these two are the best so far. But do you need a really small one? I don't know, maybe. I feel like just the do these two really match. Yeah, I think those would be perfect. Oh, that's exactly what I was thinking. Ooh, is there another black bigger one too? This is really long one. Oh, I do like that one. Those two. Those two together and then maybe these two. Oh, those are so similar. Yeah. But these two look really good really together. Good. Really good. Really good. Like they're the same, I think. Yeah. Maybe we see how much these are. Yeah. That would look awesome. That'd be so cool if we were able to like change it out with the stuff we right? found here at this yeah. market. Okay, let's ask. How much for these two? One euro. One euro. One euro. Yeah. We'll take them. It sounds like a very fair deal. It's just like a dude and there's like an umbrella. I don't know. It's just different. He's, why does he have his umbrella inside? Maybe his roof know. leaks? I don't know. Oh, we're out of focus. We got to show him what we're talking about. Interesting. And there's all these books on it. I don't know. I just thought it was kind of crazy. That is kind of I'm crazy. Fun. I don't know what you do with it though. It's just like that. Yeah, it might have originally been on something. Mm -hmm. I really do like this. It looks Chinese to me. Can you bend it so it could be a bracelet? I wonder. I think it might hold something or go over like yeah. a glass at yeah. the base of a glass. If it was a bracelet, I would do it. But uh, it's pretty thick. I don't think it'll bend. That'd be pretty to turn into a Christmas ornament. It's oh, like yeah. A brass ring. Holy cow, the market was insane. I'm so excited about all of my finds. I need to pick up and put away and start packing my finds from the other day here in Bruges. And once I get these out of the way, I'm gonna pull everything out that I just got at the market and I'll show it to you a little bit closer. To say that I am thrilled about today's haul at the market here in Bruges would be an understatement. I found some things that I've been on the hunt for for so many years, including this incredible box. This is called Tramp Art, this style, and it is probably early, early 1900s. It says 190. I'm assuming one through nine is missing on the last number. Um, it even has the name. The fact that I found one for only 50 euro with lion door knockers on it is just incredible it opens up and falls apart but that's okay because it's super old <laughs> it's just incredible it even has the original mirror it wasn't broken it just needs to kind of slide over and I need to get it in place and the missing foot is right here so when I get home I'll get that reattached and I will get new hinges and get that put together properly but it's a pretty neat find and for only 50 euro that is a good price. I think it's so amazing that I came across this vase after finding a plate that was priced so high at an antique store in Brussels. So I thought that was just awesome karma that I ended up finding this for such a deal. I think this was only maybe 10 euro. Now this, I have a funny story. You didn't see any footage of me finding this piece and that's because I didn't actually find this. We met up with Colleen and Kate here in Belgium and Kate sent me a picture of this piece of pottery and asked me, this might possibly be a good designer and it is it's really hard to tell but it says Rudy Stahl and so I told her to go ahead and get it she decided not to keep it for herself because it was too large to fit in her luggage which yeah tell me about it I know all about that but his pottery pieces retail online for several hundred dollars and he is a known Belgium artist so I thought this was a neat one to try to bring home we'll see how the packing goes I think it's coming with me I love this one it's got really unique colors I'm actually going to be letting go of this beautiful full vase so hopefully it makes it home in one piece and I can have that up for grabs in my first Friday sale this one's gonna be a hard one to decide on I think I am gonna let it go I got such a great deal on it and after finding the Potosi for 25 euro I knew that this is the one that's gonna come home with me for sure it's gonna look amazing on my shelf with all of the Rimini blue so I'm thinking these three I'm gonna let go of the blue and green colors on this lamp were so beautiful I could not pass 
pass it up. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest of this cord off and rewire it when I get home. This may end up on my bookshelf. I may end up putting it in the shop to be determined. The new hands are gonna be perfect for the clock. They actually look, in my opinion, like they are more original than the other ones because they're kind of the same brass color as these little lines here. And those are so shiny and ornate. So this one's kind of long, but when it's flat like this, it should go over that no problem. So when it's on the hour, you just won't see part of it. I think that's gonna look awesome. So I just gotta get a new little battery pack now. This is a beautiful little tablecloth. That's gonna be fun for decorating with. These ashtrays were a must for me. They're not exactly light, but they are so beautiful. And obviously you would not have to use them as an ashtray. This store right here I looked up and it is in Belgium. I'm not sure who the maker is, but they were at one point sold here in a store in Belgium. When I was digging through a box, I found these four pieces and I got all four of them for five euro. This one is a little mixed metal cross. I think it's sterling and brass or possibly gold plated. And then I believe that this is from Africa. And I think it would have originally had maybe some woven material going here and here, making it a necklace. I'll find a way to repurpose it. So I thought that was great. And then I think I'm gonna hang a plant from this. It's just fun to have something a little different than your typical S hook that you can find at Home Depot. Okay, we have to have a moment for this incredible belt buckle. So this I believe is a Navajo piece. It is artist signed N on the back, sterling, and even the back has hand stamped design in it. These stones are incredible. They're the main reason that I picked it up. They are just the most gorgeous deep green turquoise stones I've ever seen. And then it has this nice piece of coral and of course a howling wolf. This was a really good find. Two more tramp art pieces that have the original pictures in them. Isn't that sweet? I am going to take the photo photos out though and put some of my own. I'm planning on doing some of my wedding photos in some of these tramp art frames. This is for our bathroom, in case you need to know where the toilet is. A beautiful little Burlwood bowl. This was only five euro. And then Sarah spotted this incredible collar necklace. I don't think that it's silver. I think that it might be silver plated. It was 35, but I offered 25 and they said yes. Never hurts to offer. Cross wall hanging hooks. I got the set of two. And then I love this box so much. The shape on it is just incredible. It's got some information here made in the Dominican Republic. It's just so unique. I've never seen anything like it. I'm going to clean it up when I get home, put a little wood oil on it, and I have a feeling that it's going to go on the coffee table with these. They had so much beautiful trench art here. I believe that these are World War I era and they were made out of shell casings. They had 30 for the set of two and they accepted 25 for the pair. I've been looking at the trench art all week here here, and I finally found two that were small enough that I could take them home with me and I loved that they had the flowers on them and then we got to have a moment for the art we got some good art today so this one is an oil on a canvas and it's just a very simple old city setting with the cart in the street I love it it's got the little broom outside and then this is one of my favorites this reminds me actually of Switzerland it's probably from France a lot of the stuff here at the market today was from France I just love Love this so much with the church and the colors this is one on a board a beautiful dark stormy night ship painting love a good ship painting and then two signed watercolors the colors on both of those go great together that would look really beautiful in a gallery wall and then i especially love this one i really am drawn to city paintings i don't know why i love landscapes and i love the ocean but there's just something about the little villages and towns because i always think about the painter was this person just sitting across the street on a bench and painting these women as they came out of the building. This one was really special. And then I got one more over here, which is a painting from France, and it is also a watercolor. So what I'm planning to do is I'm going to be taking out all of the larger pieces from their frames and stacking them together, and I will use bubble wrap in between them, and I will show you a little bit of the process that I go through and how I get all of this stuff home with me when I travel and I'm flying. Okay, I've kind of got everything separated. I've got all the brass together the pottery together the jewelry the wood and then i've condensed down all of that art including the ones that were back here just to these two piles a lot of these are from finds from yesterday and most of these are from finds from today so i will get everything wrapped up and start boxing wish me luck
We have been shopping for hours and we are ready to take a little break from shopping and go check out the beautiful city of Bruges. But don't worry, we are going back to the antique market for the end of the day deals. It's fun traveling with someone who appreciates all the details as much as you do. I love it. So beautiful here. It really is. Oh, it's and then also, hi people. <laughs> you know, it happens. It does. Well, it's five twenty. We're going for round four. <laughs> <laughs> the market closes in about 40 minutes and so we've been actually just checking out the town i already got everything packed up but we figured let's go see if there's any last minute deals just in case just in case because you never know things are still popping over here i don't see anybody packing up do you i think there's gonna be some deals i really do Some of the best deals that I have ever gotten at flea markets have been at the very end of the day when everyone is packing up to go home. I've been a vintage dealer for over 10 years and I have worked so many flea markets, so I know exactly what is going through their heads. You are more likely to bargain at the end of the day because you don't want to pack it up and take it home. So I highly recommend no matter what type of vintage market or flea market you are attending, that you go first thing when they open, but also that you come back at the very end of the day. chandelier earrings. Yeah. These are pretty. Come on. Come on. Well, I just found a really pretty lady. This says 50. Could you do 40 euro? No. No? Even at the end of the day when you got to <laughs> carry this heavy lady home. <laughs> I tried. Well, that sucked. I thought I found a really exciting find for my last find and guess what? Why? <laughs> because her son must have wrote 50 euro on the bottom of it. It was really 75. Yeah. Maybe I decided just 75 us. just wasn't going to cut it. <laughs> so close. <laughs> we were here a little bit ago, maybe two hours ago, and it was just packed with people. And we were like, let's see what happens if we come back at night. Look how pretty this is. There's just a few people. There was a professional photographer here a few minutes ago and a couple couples. We lost Sarah. She got locked up in the pokey. <laughs> we came back to the bridge. It wasn't as crowded. And it's beautiful. It's very beautiful. Highly recommend coming at night or early in the morning. Should we show them what's in front of us? We, right now? we should. Cause we it's should pretty show amazing. You. Yeah, we'll show you. Uh, There's a reason I didn't become a singer. Uh, <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> okay, I was faking that one. This is why I love getting up early and going on walks because there is pretty much nobody out right now. It's unreal. It's just so peaceful and calming and I feel like and there's the crowds you're so caught up in 
where to turn and avoiding running into somebody and not getting ran over by a horse. But when it's quiet like this, you can just kind of really take in where you are. Today was amazing. That market was as good as I was hoping it was and probably even better. We found so many good things. I'm headed back to London for about 24 hours tomorrow and then I am on my way home and it's been, I think, three and a half weeks. I'm excited to get home. I miss my husband and my boys, my kitties, and I can't wait to share the full vlogs with all of you. Thank you so much for joining me on Instagram and I will let you know as soon as the full vlogs are out. That's a wrap for the European adventures. I'm all packed up, ready to hit the train station and get home. This trip to Belgium has been one of my favorite trips for sourcing vintage that I've ever done in Europe. And that is why I am so excited to announce that I will be hosting a group trip here to Belgium in 2024. This trip will take place immediately following my Paris group trip in September 2024. The trip will go live for booking on Friday, January 12th at 12 p.m. Pacific time on my website, leftcoastrevivals.com. Do not forget to sign up and subscribe to my newsletter because you will be the first one to get to see the full itinerary and all of the exact trip details, including pricing. You can subscribe to my newsletter at leftcoastrevivals.com slash newsletter. I will also put the link in the description below. Don't forget to do this because this is how you are guaranteed to get first dibs. We will be hitting flea markets in Brussels, shopping an entire antique store district full of amazing vintage. Obviously, we're going to shop this massive flea market that you saw in this episode today, along with a full day of thrift store shopping outside of the city. There'll be group meals, laughter, and it's a great way to make new friends. Everyone is welcome, all ages. Our group trips are a mix of solo travelers, mother-daughter duos, best friends, sisters, and even couples. I am so excited about this trip, and I hope you are too. Don't forget, the trip goes live for booking on January 12th, 2024 at 12 p.m. Pacific time on my website, leftcoastrevivals.com. I have so many amazing episodes left from this European adventure. Everything from hitting flea markets in London to thrift store shopping in Norway. I've got so many exciting episodes in the works right now. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss when the next episode drops. As always, thank you so much for watching and joining me on this adventure. I'll see you in the next one.